Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to be doing a really fun challenge video. I saw this challenge slash book tag video. I just thought it was it looks so much fun. So I'll put the link in the description for the original creator of this. Thank you for creating such a cool and fun book tag challenge thing. So I haven't really like looked at the challenges yet because I wanted it to be more like in the moment for me trying to figure it out. But there's 20 challenges and you have to see if you have that book on your bookshelves or not. I'm really excited about this. Luckily it's not timed so I don't have to sit here and like time myself. Number one, do you have a book with deckled pages? I'm not totally sure what deckled means but uh let me check. Is this deckled pages? Is that what that means? If so then yes. I do have a book with deckled pages. This is Us by David Nichols. And yeah, if deckled pages means um, these like, like weird pages, then yes. Number two says, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Do these count as people? This has a whole fucking squad of people. Does this count? Ah, yes, okay. The Last Summer of the Garrett Girls. It has four girls. That is four people on the cover. Challenge number three. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? This means a retelling. Then, uh, yeah, I got Cinder, which is based off the other fictional story, Cinderella. Not sure if this counts, but I'm counting it. Question number four says, do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? Oh gosh, exactly 10? Ah, uh, 10. Final girls, five, five. What? What is up? Number five is, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Shit. Uh, uh, the, the kiss quotient starts with T and ends with T. I feel like that's cheating because I'm using the T and the, but you know. Number six is, do you have a mass market paperback book? No, I don't. I got rid of them all in my last unhaul, so I don't. Number seven is, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Yes, I do. Final Girls, Riley Sager is a pen name. It is not his real name as an author. What? Number eight says, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yes, bitch, I do. Sadie by Courtney Summers. What? 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 That was the first thing that came to mind. I don't think I have anything else that would fit in this category, so it's a good thing that one does. Number nine says, do you have a book with two maps in it? Um, I don't read a lot of books with maps in it, usually. Is it Unbury Carol? Unbury Carol has a map in it. Does that count? No, it doesn't count. Ah. No, I do not have a book with two maps in it because I feel like maps are mostly in fantasy books and since I don't read a lot of fantasy I don't have a lot of maps in my books so no I don't. <laughs> Number 10 says do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? I even have the TV show version and the original version. You by Caroline Kepinis. It's a it's a great show. It's really great. Number 11 do you have a book written by someone who was originally famous for something else? This one Rebels of Eden was written by a YouTuber a YouTube sensation, Joey. And then this one, uh, My Squirrel Days by Ellie Kemper, was written by an actress, Ellie Kemper. I also have Anna Kendrick's book around here somewhere, but I can't find it. Number 12, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? The Clockmaker's Daughter. It's just a giant ass clock on the cover, so <laughs> yeah. Number 13 is, do you have a poetry book? Yes, I do. I like my poetry. I have this book, Love Her Wild by Atticus. And it is a collection of photography and poetry. Number 14 is, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? <laughs> Aristotle and Dante has quite a few, actually. <laughs> this one has four, so what's up? Do I get four extra points? This one is one of my favorite books of all time, and it deserves all of the awards. Number 15 is, do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Oh gosh, you know, this one's real tough because my initials are GG. So it's like, it's kind of rare, I feel like. But let me look. No, I don't think I do. Um, I feel like I would have remembered if there was an author with GG initials because I feel like that's pretty rare, you know? So I'll just have to write my own book and use that next time. Number 16 is, do you have a book of short stories? Okay, so I'm not totally sure if this counts because it's Violent Ends, but it's a novel told in 17 different points of, view points of views. 
And so there's 17 different authors that wrote this book. So it's like a combination of 17 shorter stories into one big story. So does this count or does it have to be an anthology? I don't read a ton of anthologies though. Number 17 is do you have a book that is between 500 to 510 pages long? Oh god, that's so specific. So it's 450. Come on, Hearts Invisible Furies. Oh no, this one's almost 600. No. Oh my god! Yes! The Book of Strange Things! It's exactly 500 pages. Freaking page 500 acknowledgements. This totally counts. I found it. God, I was looking through all my thick books and they were all easily over 500 pages. So, huh. Right, number 18 is, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Bitch, of course I do. I have like 80 million. I have three right here that were very recently turned into movies this year. So do I get bonus points to all the boys I've loved before? The Hate You Give and Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Boom. Last two. Number 19 is, do you have a graphic novel? I just read one recently called Black Hole. And it's very spooky and black and white. And it is a graphic novel by Charles Burns. There you go. All right. And the last challenge is number 20. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? One of my favorite books of all time, Him, is by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. That is two or more authors. I mean, I also have Violent Ends, which is, you know, 17 authors, so. All right, so that was the Do You Have That Book book tag challenge video. I only missed a few, right? I don't have any authors with my initials, which is a damn shame. That was a fun challenge. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this challenge video, and I will see you guys soon with a new video.